Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today in this video I will tell you how to solve a 2 person zero sum game with single saddle point. In this video not only I will tell you how to solve a game theory problem very easily but you will also learn what is the meaning of saddle point, what is called a payoff matrix, what is meant by a 2 person zero sum game and what is row minimum, how to find out the column maximum value and what is called the strategy, what is called pure strategy, all you will learn along with how to solve the problem. So let's start. This is our game theory question. We have to find out the optimal strategies for person A and person B and also we have to find out the value of the game. So for some basics, this is called a game. This game is being played between two persons, person A and person B. That's why it's called two person game. And it's called a zero sum game because the gain of one person is equal to the loss of another person. That means the algebraic sum of the gain and loss is equal to zero. That means if person A wins one rupee, then person B has to lose one rupee. So that the sum is always equal to zero. So that is the meaning of two person zero sum game. Now coming to the saddle point. Saddle point is a point where optimum strategies for two players collide. You will understand the concept when we will solve the problem. Now this is called the payoff matrix where individual values represents the payoff value for each players if the player goes or adopt that strategy. Strategy are set of rules which are known to the players in advance. That means, for example, if this is a profit and loss game, then person A knows if I increase my production by some units, then my profit will increase by 4 units. Similarly, person B knows that if I follow this strategy, my loss will be of 4 units. So, both the players are intelligent and rational and they know what is the outcome for each strategy for him also for the opponent. So we have three strategies for player A or person A that is A1, next A2 and A3. Similarly for person B there are four strategies B1, B2, B3 and B4. So this was the basic, now I will tell you how to solve the problem. For that, let's come to this game. I will tell you how to solve the problem step by step. So step number one, first we have to write row minima and column maxima. So and in row minima, first we have to find out the minimum value in each row and write it outside. So in row one, the minimum value is minus 5, which is written next to it. In row 2, the minimum value is 4, which is written outside. Next, in row 3, the minimum value is minus 5. And now column maxima. In column maxima, as the name suggests, we have to find out the maximum value in each column and write it next to the column. So, in column 1, the maximum value is 5, which is written next to it. Similarly, in column 2, again the maximum value is 5, which is written next to it. Similarly, in column 4, the maximum value is 20, which is written next to it. Now, what is the meaning of row minima and column maxima? The minimum value in each row represents the minimum payoff or minimum gain to person A if the person A follows this strategy. So if person A follows strategy number A1, then he, it's the, his minimum gain is minus 5. So the value is minus, so actually there is no gain. So person A definitely will not follow A1. Similarly, person A will not follow the A3. So for a person A, the objective is to maximize his minimum gain. 
that is called the maximum strategy for person A and the value and the corresponding value is called the maximum value for that particular strategy. Next coming to the column maximum. The maximum value in each column represents the maximum loss to person B if person B follows that strategy. For example, if person B follows strategy B1, then his maximum loss will be of 5 units. So person B will try to minimize his maximum loss. So that is called minimum strategy. So this was step 1. In step 2, we have to find out the maximum value among the row minimum values. So the maximum value among minus 5, 4 and minus 5 is definitely the plus 4 which is enclosed in a square box. Next we have to find out the smallest value among the column maximum value and you have to enclose it in, in a circle. So among the values 5, 5, 4 and 20 the minimum value is plus 4 which is enclosed in a circle. Step number 3 you have to check whether the row minimum value and the column maximum value is equal or not. If both the values are same then you can say the game has a settle point. The settle point is also called the optimization point or optimum point. So since our row minimum value equals to column maximum value the game has a settle point. Thus it can be solved by PO strategy. Now we have to find out the optimal strategies for person A and person B also we have to find out the value of gain. So thus optimal strategy for person A is A2 since the maximum row minimum value comes in A2 row. Similarly for person B the minimum column maximum value comes in B3 columns. So for person A the optimal strategy is A2 and for person B the optimal strategy is B3 and the value of gain is equals to 4. This is our required answer. So friend, this was my video on how to solve a 2 person zero sum game with single saddle point. I will make more videos on game theory. In my next video, I will tell you how to solve a 2 person zero sum game with more than one saddle point. Also, I will make a video on how to solve a large 2 person zero sum game with the property of dominance. So if you like the video, please like it using the like button below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By subscribing, you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. When I upload my next video, you will get an email if you subscribe. And please share this video among our friends and family because knowledge is meant to be shared. I have more than 18 videos on operation research on my YouTube channel. The link to the playlist is given in the video description below. So thanks for watching, see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing.